Now that you've seen effective use of the Warthog against the Covenant, I'd like to show you against the UNSC. Um, the beginning starts out pretty much like the same. Um, I suggest building a reactor, but more importantly, you should use your Warthog as a scout and to eliminate their resources. Um, however, if you're going to use the strategy to cripple their economy, I suggest that you do not build a second Warthog like, like I did in the Covenant. On the move. Bit. Um, the problem with that is, is the faster you get your technology, the faster you can start doing damage, and the UNSC is a lot tougher than the Covenant. So you need to do more damage. Um, so as you can see, I got the gunner upgrade as soon as I could. And, um, obviously they made a building at the same time I did, um, because every building takes the same amount of time, um, but luckily for me, it's a supply pad. So, it's one of the buildings I'll be targeting later, and trying to eliminate as I cripple their economy as best as I can. Um, the important thing here is not to eliminate military producing um, units, or like a barracks and so forth. It's to eliminate the capacity to gain any sort of resources. And that's what you have to do from the start. Um, and that's why I'm building a sudden second Warthog here, because if you'll notice, I was whittling away Supply at that bed. building, and it wasn't doing anything. And that's because UNSC Warthog. buildings have a lot more health Let's than go. the Covenant ones, We're unfortunately. Let's go. On the move. Moving out. Yes, sir. On the now, target. I'm going to attack this reactor. Um, that's units. mainly because um, I'm afraid of tech levels. Um, Hornets are very good against Warthogs, unfortunately. And um, they uh, tend to crush them very fast. And um, I want to avoid my opponent from getting Hornets. However, in, in uh, hindsight, I probably should still be attacking the... Um, uh, I should be attacking the supply pad. Um, cause I can kill a couple hornets when they come out, uh, however, um, I won't be able to kill a lot of them, um, because, let's face it, even if they get this out, see I'm gonna change my mind here and start attacking that. Um, I guess the main reason, the only reason that that was slightly applicable is because it was still being built, um, and therefore, it was still taking a lot of time and I could not worry about it, um, and do a lot of damage while it was coming out, but if I had been focusing on the supply pad, it would be gone by now, so. It's a balancing act, it really is. Um, again, uh, upgrade tech as much as possible, as fast as possible. Um, the only way you're gonna be able to destroy the place, um, in any sort of, uh, streamlined fashion. Um, the supply pad's coming up. This is a smart move. Attack any supply pads and start coming up. Um, if you'll notice, it's going away very quickly, um, and that's the only way you'll be able to beat um, the US, UNSC's economy, um, because their buildings are just so tough. They really are. Um, so you really have to attack their buildings while they're still being built. And if you see, it's gone. And now I'll be able to take out that building as well. Um, Grenadier, get it as soon as possible. Building killer, pretty much. All units. All units. And I'll be attacking the supply pad again. Um, now, I didn't notice that they had an air pad in the corner. Um, this is why you should be using your Warthog as a scout at all times as well. Um, this is the... Luckily for me, they were not thinking about their barracks. Um, but unfortunately for me, I wasn't scouting. So, they made Hornets. The best, probably the best quick unit against the Warthog. And, um, it really crushes me here. And this this is something you should do. You should always be scouting around your base. Um, their base with your Warthog. Um, because as you can see here, um, this Warthog's gone. Pretty much. Um, a good way to get away from Hornet or any type of unit, since the Warthog's so fast, is to just drive away. They'll think you've run away, but you haven't. 
and then come back and start attacking um, whatever building, um, and hopefully you know, leave alone long enough to be able to get away with that. Um, there's a supply pen here being All built, units. I'm going to attack that because now I have Grenadier, so my Warthog will actually do a fair amount of damage against that building as you can see. Enemy engaging. And um, this Warthog needs to come away from their fuel. Um, the trick is, is to trick your opponent into thinking that you're Warthog's All units. If you can do that, then pretty much just repeatedly be their economy. Round. That's the goal. Really? Um, that's All exactly what you should be doing. Let's go. And don't do Warthog this. <laughs> Attacking them is not a smart idea in any way. Um, but I'm going to anyway because I'm ready to give up some of these units, I think. Um, I'm going to pump some of them up, and my goal, I can tell, is... Um, my goal at this point is to get the Gauss, because at this point they're making all these great units, and I need to get the Gauss upgrade to be able to deal with them. Um, so, I'm gonna recycle that. Yeah. And, um, I'll pump out a reactor as soon as I can. Um, this is probably the best idea. Um, to get a reactor as soon as you can and get that Gauss upgrade. It really is that. Um, and again, look like you're gone, and then come back, and you'll be able to assault your enemy's base uh, uninterrupted. Very useful. I'm not quite there to the 750, um, so I'm going to leave it and keep attacking supply pads, targeting the heavy ones specifically. Um, unfortunately, my enemy got fed up with me, so he attacked me right away. Um, I'm going to start building that reactor, and, uh, um, there's nothing really you can do at this point. You're, you guys are gone, so, um, keep your guys at your base, upgrade your turrets, um, anything you can do, because this is when they rush. So, anything you can do to defend your base, um, do it now. Um, even though you don't have the Gauss upgrade, I wouldn't have the Gauss upgrade right now. Um, now is the time. Defend your base. Um, I'm gonna buy the Gauss upgrade very soon, um, mainly because it's um, it needs to get bought. Basically, that's all there is to it. And there really isn't anything you can do in the meantime. Um, I decided that the Gauss was worth taking the risk to try to get it faster as opposed to um, the enemy is making building on my turrets. In hindsight, it's probably not a good idea. If your opponent is going to attack you, um, if your opponent has that many hornets like they did there, six hornets or so, and you're completely undefended except for three warthogs, they will win. They will win the game if they rush you. Um, hopefully, they won't be that smart and they will attack um, a side base leaving you um, uh, hoping that you won't figure that one out and leaving you alone. Um, chances of that are very low uh, against an experienced player. So I would recommend that you would buy turrets here. I took the risk, um, but it's not a great idea. Supply pad upgrade. What without me? Goss Cannon Research. 